Today I'm going to show you some corrective exercises that you can use to restore the curve in your lumbar spine. What's going on everybody? It's Blake Bowman here with Gorillaz and Fitness and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to restore your lumbar curve. To begin, the lumbar spine, which is the spine that comprises your lower back, is supposed to have a natural curve in it. Okay, It's supposed to have a natural lordotic curve. Um, and that just means it's supposed to have a slight, ever so slight arch in it like that. Now something that frequently people will develop as a result of sitting with their butt tucked underneath them, kind of like that, they'll sit down and they'll like kind of tuck their butt underneath them and around like that, okay? What happens is their pelvis will posteriorly tilt in that position, meaning it will tilt backwards, and the lumbar spine, instead of being curved, it will actually either, either straighten out or bend forward and flex, okay? Um, so you basically, from sitting improperly long periods of time, you develop muscle imbalances and postural distortions that cause you to lose the lumbar curve and even you know, have it round instead of arch. And that's bad for many different reasons. It predisposes the lumbar spine to a myriad risk of uh, injuries, including disc injuries, disc herniations, and things like that. So I guess you could say that's the main incentive that you would have to actually restore your lumbar curve if you're missing it. Before I get into the meat of this video, realize that the exercises I'm going to show in a second are only for people that have a either a straight lumbar spine or a rounded lumbar spine. If you have an anterior pelvic tilt, which is causing hyperlordosis, which is an excessive arch of the lower back, you don't want to be doing this, okay? This will make it worse. So you have to know what kind of postural distortions and muscle imbalances you have. If your lower back is really, really tight and it's really, really arched and your hip flexors are really, really tight, then don't do these exercises. With that being said, the biggest thing that you can do to start restoring that lumbar curve, if you're sitting the way that I just demonstrated a second ago is to sit in an opposite fashion, right? So if you're sitting and your pelvis, I don't know if you guys can see this, is tucked underneath you like that and you're kind of like rounded forward like this, your butt sucked underneath you on the chair, um, that is the main contributor to your um, you know, your, the state of your lumbar spine and the position of your pelvis. So to fix that, you actually want to sit in a very slight anterior pelvic tilt. Okay, You want to tilt that, that pelvis forward just a little bit, arch the back a little bit, feel those lower back muscles kick on. You want to do that while you're seated, okay? Um, you can't just corrective exercise this away. If you go back to your desk and you sit the same way that caused the imbalance in the first place, okay? Don't do it excessively. I've talked about this in my other videos. You shouldn't really feel like a crap load of tension back there. Just tilt that pelvis forward a little bit, arch the back just a little bit when you're sitting. Along with modifying the way that you sit, there are some corrective exercises that I'm going to show you that are going to help kick on some of those posterior chain muscles that are likely weak and deficient in you, located in the lumbar spine area of the lower back. The stronger these muscles become, the better position your lower back will be in. The first exercise is going to look like this. This is called Superman pose. You know, there's a lot of different names for these things, so I don't really... It, I don't get hung up on names, okay? Everybody's like, that's not called Superman pose. Whatever you want to call it, it doesn't really matter. Basically, what we're going to be doing is turning on those back muscles, activating the muscles that extend the spine, which if you have a, you know, a lumbar spine that doesn't have a curve or it's flexed forward, you're probably not very strong in these muscles. So you're going to basically lay down on your chest like this, okay? You're going to lift, you're going to pull your arms in so that they're level with your chest. You're gonna lift your chest off, and then you're also going to lift the legs off the ground like this, okay? You should be feeling a lot of muscle contraction when you do this in the lumbar spine, or not in the lumbar spine, but in the muscles adjacent to the lumbar spine, okay? We're looking to really contract the muscles that are located in that area. Another exercise that you can do that comes from my friend Dr. Eric Goodman of Foundation Training is an exercise called the Founder. For this one, you're basically going to start with your feet shoulder width apart, okay? You're going to kind of do this a couple times to, to practice your hip hinge, okay? I would recommend doing this, just hinging from the hips like a door hinge, just to kind of warm up your hips so that you know what this feels like. That's what we're striving for, okay? Feet a little bit wider in shoulder width or shoulder width, slight bend in the knees. You're gonna stick your arms up overhead, hip hinge, okay? So you're hinging from the hips, shoving your butt back behind you, keeping these arms up overhead. 
From here, you're gonna reach your arms forward that way while you shove your butt out that way, okay? And you're just gonna hold this, okay? You're trying to extend that lumbar spine again. Trying to get a little bit of an arch occurring in the low back to turn on those muscles back there, okay? So pushing the butt that way, reaching the arms this way, really trying to arch the back, okay? Lifting that chest up. Just like that. Now, I want you to know that I did not teach that founder up to Dr. Eric Goodman's uh, standards um, at all because I've never been certified through him. So what I did is I included a link to a video that he made demonstrating the founder. It's in the description down below. You might want to check that out. I would recommend that you perform each of those two exercises for four to five sets of 30 seconds each. From there, once you've started doing this for a while and you've developed some more strength in the lower back, you can progress into exercises that challenge the posterior chain and those lower back muscles that extend or arch the back um, a little bit more. So like things like deadlifts, back extensions, and barbell squats. However, I wouldn't recommend doing those until you've, you've developed some more neuromuscular control in the lower back, until you're, you're able to turn those muscles on and they feel stronger. Lastly, I really can't emphasize enough how you can't just do corrective exercises and expect this to go away, okay? You have to modify the behavior that you had in the first place that caused this. So for a lot of you, it's really gonna be sitting. Watch the way you sit. Make sure that that buck is, butt is not tucking underneath you when you sit, and make sure that you're maintaining that ever so slight arch of the lower back. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Give it a like and a share and also comment below. Also, if you haven't downloaded my free ebook, Posture, The Ultimate Life Hack, then go ahead and pick that up right over here. It's basically an ebook that I've, I've taken all of my best exercises and kind of taken all my videos over the last two years about posture, consolidated them all into one book. It's an excellent book. You learn all about the, the importance of posture, um, the ramifications of having bad posture, and then a lot of corrective exercises that you can do to fix your posture. If you're looking for some more individualized help with your posture, then I would love to work with you as a client. Basically, all you have to do is open up the uh, description down below, hit coaching, purchase a posture and movement assessment from there, and basically we'll, we'll uh, choose a time to meet on Skype. I'll assess your static posture. I'll take you through a movement assessment to identify all of your muscular imbalances. And then from there, we can put together a corrective exercise protocol that's specific to you. Other than that, I'll see you next time.